This is the Dyson uh, DC 37. This handle is horrible. My hands just can't handle the, the way this handle is shaped. It's very awkward, very uncomfortable, not my preference whatsoever. The other thing that I really don't like about this machine is that it does tip over quite easily when you're rolling it along. It's a bit awkward to actually roll along. As you can see, uh, somebody has been banging it into a lot of things because it's the odd shape is really hard to manage. It's so expensive and, and I just, I, I'm not feeling it. The suction is great. I find on carpets though, the, the, the power head sometimes really fights on the carpet because it's awkward to move. It's just, it doesn't go the way that I want it to. And, and I just really don't think that this machine is ideal. Let me know in the comments what you think about your Dyson. I've never used the ball type that is an upright. I would love to be able to try one of those one day. Um, Dyson, feel free to send me one. I'd love to try it out. This is the Dyson. Um, it, it It is rechargeable. Um, it's a nice little machine. Doesn't seem to have a very long lasting battery power. My clients have not emptied it. It's clear to me that although Dyson says that they will never lose suction, when you get this much dirt in it, it is going to lose suction. And you really need to make sure that you clean your vacuums regularly and tap out the filters. It's a dirty job, but if you want your vacuum to suck up properly, that's what you gotta do. This is my client's vacuum and it is a Kenmore Elegance. It looks beautiful, but I tried to pick it up and I swear it's so heavy. I really can't imagine pulling this thing around. Um, it would just take my back out in no time. So this would be a no go for me. So welcome to my dirt devil graveyard. I wanna show what goes wrong. I used to speak very highly of dirt devil. Inexpensive machines. This is the issue. The wheels fall off. Most of them have no wheels. They used to be quite heavy duty. The lighter that they've been made, the worse they've gotten. Look at no wheels. Now this is my fifth dirt devil from the graveyard. It's actually still operational, but um, as you can see, I've had to do some Debbie fixing to it. <laughs> The wand is supposed to be removable, but it's not, the, the, the plastic has, has not held together. For, I, I, let's make that six dirt devils, because I forgot about this dirt devil uh, that I also have. Again, the painter's tape method to keep the hose together, because it broke like right at the seam. So since I have had no luck with Dirt Devil, I recently had an opportunity to purchase this Infinity machine. Um, it's been really great so far. It's a bit heavier, but it, it rolls fairly easy. Um, the suction is great. It, it claims that it will never lose suction. Um, it does have a removable wand and so you can, you know, get things underneath and whatnot. It has a pet power nozzle. It has the onboard tool there, so it doesn't fall off like many of the vacuum cleaners that I have tried before. I really, really, really like this machine so far. And <laughs> I've been using it for a good month or so, and the wheels are really quite durable. I don't think the wheels are gonna fall off. Hallelujah. It's well worth the investment. I think they're probably close to $200 with taxes and that kind of thing. But you can buy a whole bunch of Dirt Devils um, in a year or you can get one Infinity.